Recent upgrades to the steam boiler plant at the University of Arkansas's Fayetteville campus are a good example of how institutions can optimize their thermal energy usage by leveraging multiple factors. These factors include the integration of on-demand steam technologies into existing systems, utilization of best practices in operations and maintenance, energy benchmarking, and even creative financing of energy upgrades via a performance contracting agreement. The upgrades at the university's steam plant also showcase the important role each of the factors plays in reducing the carbon footprint of a major university campus. My name is Scott Turley. Um, I'm Director of Utility Operations. My name is Paul Brewer. I was the project manager on the, on the job. I'm Doug Moore. I'm the plant engineer. I'm over the operations of the heating plant and the chill water plant. Uh, here at the University of Arkansas, Utility Operations is responsible for steam production, heating hot water production, uh, chill water production, primary electrical distribution on campus, and we also do building controls. Initial design of the job was to replace three existing Kiwani boilers that were out of service with one new boiler. And just because of age and, and uh, efficiency, they had um, kind of fallen out of use and needed to be replaced. Uh, the decision to go to the Mira boilers was made after the initial award of the contract because of the higher efficiency of the Mira boilers. We went through a competitive selection process. Uh, Johnson Controls was selected to be our ESCO partner. Uh, as we started engineering the project together, it was a design-build project. We had found out about the uh, Mira boiler technology through our local uh, rep out of Memphis, Tennessee, and introduced us to the product. It looked good to us, uh, looked like a good fit for what we were trying to do, and um, just started doing our research and, and thought it was the right choice for the project. I came into the project in December of 07 when I was hired on. The boilers came on in March of 08, so it was toward the very end of the project. We were able to use the footprint of two of the existing boilers to put all six of the new mirrors. Three mirrors then would take the footprint of one of the old existing boilers. That left us with one bay open, which the university utilized to put in some emergency generators in that spot. Part of the project that we did was to put in uh, a centrifugal heat pump, so it's an electric technology. That system is providing about uh, 20,000 MBH of heat. If we want to turn it down, turn it off for demand shedding, we needed a technology that would respond very quickly that we could spool up in a hurry. The mirror boilers fit that application very well for us as opposed to conventional boiler technology. Between the old and the new systems, the difference in the function is that the mirrors are far more flexible. It is a lot easier to have one boiler on at low fire than it is to turn even the smallest big boiler we have down to that level. In the summertime, uh, we have a pretty low steam load, down around 20,000. So again, the mirrors fit that very well for summertime load. Um, in the wintertime, uh, we still have to do some base loading with one of our large conventional um, water tube boilers, but the mirrors are there to pick up the daily swings because they can turn on and off very easily and very quickly. It fits that uh, morning warm up very well for us. So. It maintains the run time on them. It rotates the boilers in and out based on their run hours, based on what's needed. So it kind of gives them an even load. We always have probably more run time on the smaller one than we do the bigger one. But here they all run pretty much even. You're correct in that the university is a signatory to the uh, College and University's Climate Commitment Challenge. We were one of the first 100 signatories to that document. Uh, we do have a climate action plan for the campus where we're trying to become uh, climate neutral. And certainly energy conservation has to be one of the fundamental kind of cornerstones of reducing our greenhouse gas footprint. The genesis of the project certainly was driven by replacing antiquated equipment. But one of the uh, absolute benefits of it is uh, improved efficiency, so we're using less natural gas, less greenhouse gases, so it's a very good fit in terms of a, of a green technology as well. I think the efficiency level that the Mira brings to the table is beneficial in energy savings, definitely. 
I think it allows us to more meet the demand of what the school needs between one season and the next. And I'm sure our fuel has been reduced. I can tell you that we're saving something on the order of about $200,000 a year in gas cost. This is 24-7. I mean, you, most people shut their boilers off in the summer. We don't. We're running to maintain domestic hot water in the buildings. So they're running all the time. To date with the project, we've saved approximately 1.3 million pounds of CO2 uh, that would have gone into the environment as a result of installing the more efficient Muir boilers. Um, it's certainly helped us uh, move towards achieving our greenhouse gas objectives here on campus.